Hello and welcome to part eight of this Tableau Made Easy series. We are at the stage where we now have our map with several filters and then to ensure that our stakeholder could easily see a more aggregated view of the number of earthquakes that actually occurred in each location, we created and refined our horizontal bar chart that you can see on screen here. At the end of the last tutorial, we discussed that while locations like Alaska and Puerto Rico have a high number of quakes, at least in our 30 day sample of data, visually, when we looked at our map, they appeared to be quite small in terms of their magnitude. So let's create what we need to investigate, measure and plot this here. Now, if we wanted, one option would be to create another separate worksheet for this next chart that we want to create. And as what we're after isn't too dissimilar from what we already have with our first bar chart here, we could actually save a lot of time by just heading down to the name of our current sheet, which at the moment is just sheet two, right clicking on it and then clicking duplicate. And if we did this, a subsequent sheet would be added exactly the same as the one we see here. And this would be great as we wouldn't need to start from scratch. For our new chart, which would be plotting average magnitude by location, well, we're already splitting by location and we've already got a nice date filter in place. The only thing that we'd need to change is what the chart was actually measuring. So instead of the count of earthquakes, we'd want this new chart to be showing us the magnitude of the earthquakes. In other words, we'd essentially just need to swap out our earthquake count variable for our magnitude variable and we'd be on our way. And this idea of duplicating a current worksheet that you've already created and then modifying it is a very good Tableau trick to know and it can save you a lot of time. But it is not what we're going to do here. We are looking to be a little bit more clever. We are going to add our new chart right here on our current worksheet. So we will have both of them side by side. And luckily for us, like we've seen time and time again, Tableau makes this nice and easy. So let's get started. All we're going to need to do is grab the new variable that we want to measure, so magnitude, and we're going to drag that up into the columns area and drop it over to the right hand side of our earthquake counter variable that is already in place. So let's do that now. Let's grab magnitude and then I'm going to drag that right up here and drop it down next to earthquake counter. And just like that, we have our second chart over on the right there. Now, currently, as we can see up the top here, Tableau is summing up the magnitude variable. That was its best assumption of what we might want. And it's not necessarily right or wrong. It's just not what we were planning for here. We want the average magnitude instead, which should make it easier to digest when cross-referencing the number of quakes in our first bar chart over on the left versus the intensity on our new chart over here on the right. And as we've seen before in Tableau, we can change this easily enough just by clicking the drop down on the variable up the top here, then heading down to measure and changing it from sum to average. So this data that we're plotting on our new chart, it's actually now correct, but our labels, they seem to be incorrect. For each location, as we read across from the left, we have the same label on both charts. So for example, at the top for Puerto Rico, we have this number 386, both here and here, even though the plotted data is quite obviously different. So let's go and remedy that. And this is where an interesting feature comes in with multiple plots in the same worksheet. So in our marks card here in the middle, as soon as we added that second variable, so when we dragged in magnitude up the top here, Tableau was clever enough to split out the marks functionality for each chart. And we can see that each has its own tab. And in fact, we have one for all at the top so we can control everything at once. Below that, we have one for earthquake counter so we can alter the functionality relating specifically to that chart. And then we also have the same for average magnitude. So a lot of flexibility. Now, if we make sure that we are clicked into our average magnitude tab there on the marks card, so we want that to be the one that is open, underneath the little boxes or the little widgets there, we can see we still have this count of earthquake counter information as our label. And that is the reason that our labels are showing up the same on both charts. So let's go up and let's drag that off. And we can see those labels disappear from the chart on the right. And we're gonna want to drag on our average magnitude. 
And before we do that, if we just dragged magnitude on again from our list of columns on the left there, we'd have to go through the process of changing it from a sum to being an average. So a shortcut we can use to drag the exact format of a variable that we are already using somewhere else is to click on the variable with our mouse once, so average magnitude here, so click with the mouse, and while holding that down, press and hold the control button on your keyboard or the command button if you're using Mac, and then keep holding that as you drag the variable to its new home on the label mark, so the label box itself, and then drop it there. And what that does is it essentially makes a copy of the variable that we can put somewhere else without removing it from where we dragged it from. And importantly, it also keeps the format that it was in. So here being the average magnitude rather than the sum, which Tableau wants to do by default. Anyway, what is important is we now have location down the left, and then one chart showing the unique number of earthquakes and another almost attached chart showing the average magnitude of those quakes. And the reason we did this was because of our curiosity around what we were seeing on the map for these locations at the top, which had a high volume or high number of earthquakes. And we suspected that these quakes were quite small in terms of their intensity. And now with this extra chart, it looks to confirm what we suspected. So our top three locations in terms of the number of quakes, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, and Alaska have average magnitudes of 10.29, 9.53, and 16.85, which I would imagine actually placed them quite low down on this list. And of course, we could actually take a bit of a look at this too by just sorting our chart by average magnitude instead. So like last time, if we head down to the axis name where it says average magnitude here, and then we click the sort button, we now have all of our locations in both charts sorted in that order. And if we scroll down, we can indeed see that average magnitude values of between around 10 to 16 are pretty low when compared to other locations. Very, very interesting stuff. Now, before we wrap up here, let's do one more thing. While average magnitude certainly is interesting, it could always hide some information. And something else that would be interesting to know would be the maximum magnitude by location as well. So the largest earthquake that took place in each location. So let's do this super quick. Let's add in a third plot here. Just like before, let's again grab our magnitude variable and drag that up the top and put it over on the right here. And then this time, let's click our drop down, and then within measure, let's change that from sum to be maximum. Awesome, so there is our third chart over on the right there. And something I've just noticed, even though we do still seem to have the labels appearing on our new chart, Tableau isn't actually showing them over here in the marks card. So for consistency, let's make sure we actually add them onto the labels mark for this chart. So to do this, let's again head up to the top. Let's grab our maximum magnitude. I'm gonna click once with my mouse and then hold control as I drag that onto the labels box. And there we go, we can see that is present now. Awesome, so looking at these three charts, there is just so much for our stakeholder to dig into here. Nice work. And actually one more thing, I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking, even though decimal places can be nice sometimes as they add a bit more accuracy or a bit more granularity, here I think it might be nice to keep all of our metrics consistent as whole numbers. So I'd like to change the format of our average magnitude labels here in the middle chart, which currently have two decimal places. To do this in the marks card, let's make sure that we've clicked into the average magnitude tab. And then down here on our label, let's click the drop down and then format. And once we do that, we get these options come up on the left of screen here. And we could change all sorts of things. But all I want to do here is click into the numbers box under the default heading here. And if we change this to number custom, we can pull back the number of decimal places. So let's click down to zero. Perfect, this looks really good. And of course there is no right or wrong here, but it's good to know how to make a change like this. And it can sometimes be extremely hard to find out how to change things like decimal places. So probably good we covered it here anyway. Awesome, so let's hit the little X here at the top right of the format box to get out of there. 
And that was all I wanted to do in this tutorial. We have extended our current view of earthquakes by location to something really powerful for our stakeholder. And this will come in extremely handy when we come to create our final dashboard. In the next video, we are gonna take a look at something called calculated fields, which can add even more power and flexibility to what we can do in Tableau. You might remember that we took a super quick and simple look at these when we created our custom earthquake counter field earlier in the series. But there is so much more that we can do with calculated fields, so it will be great to dive into those. This is going to be really cool and really useful for our dashboard, so please do make sure that you save your workbook now to ensure everything is nice and safe. So file, save to Tableau Public. And as always, I will see you in the next video.